Actually, this is as real as it gets. Hey, this is Marcia Prince, IFBB Bikini Pro and Gasparian Nutrition Spokesmodel, and you are listening to the UCW Radio Show, In Your Face. The number you have reached, 911, has been changed to a non-published number. You're listening to UCW Radio. In your face. Welcome to the UCW Radio Show. I'm your host, Lou Velasquez, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, And as you know, on the show, we try to bring the best of the best on the UCW Radio Show, and today is no different. Our very special guest on the show today is none other than Peely Montilla. Uh, She's done everything from acting, uh, from hosting, to uh, making films. You know, she went from a small town in Puerto Rico to hitting the ground running in the world of mainstream entertainment. And uh, look, as opposed to me sitting here and pumping her up and telling her story, let me let her tell her story her way. And we're going to bring her on the show in a minute. But before we bring her on the show, I want to introduce you to the latest song from UK recording artist Tara London. Uh, she's, in, in my opinion, she's one of the next big things to come out of the UK uh, right alongside uh, Adele. So uh, I want you to take a listen to A uh, Beautiful Life from her latest CD entitled Fairy Tales and Stepping Stones. Forgotten child who has sold every
you enjoyed A Beautiful Life from Tara London. And now, without further ado, let's bring her on the show. She's been on hold waiting. Uh, let's bring on Pili Montilla. <laughs> All right, we're here with Pili Montilla. Pili, welcome to the UCW radio show. How are you? I'm doing really well, and I'm so excited that we finally get a chance to do this interview. As I've been, you know, storing up all this energy, and now it's time to just give it all to you. Oh, oh I like that. Bring it on, baby. Bring <laughs> it on. <laughs> uh, but for those that, that aren't too uh, familiar with your background and everything, you know, as you know, in the UCW radio show, we want to tell the story of uh, the people that, the guests that come on the show. And you have a pretty colorful background. And, uh, I, I do, I must say I do. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe, maybe we can start, you know, in the beginning, you because know, you, right now you're the, uh, the host of LATV's, uh, their entertainment show, right? No, not anymore, yes. Um, actually, I stopped working for LATV about a year ago, so right now I'm working with Vami, which is a Spanish channel. It's a national channel, so they're based out of New York, but it's national, so you can see it anywhere anywhere in the States, including Puerto Rico, actually. And as you said, like, starting from the beginning, now that I mentioned Puerto Rico, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. Um, I was raised in Puerto Rico, and uh, I, you know, I went to school. I went, I went to acting school in Boston. I went to Boston College. And uh, just one thing led to another, and I thought that, why, you know, that I loved acting, and that's what I love, and that's that was what my passion was. And it still is, but my career just took a took a different turn, and I ended up hosting, and that's mostly what I've been doing for the past couple of years, which I love. So hosting brought me to LA, and that's why I'm in LA right now, and that's why I started working for LA TV. Ah, uh, but you were, you know, you're you're hosting, and you're actually you're acting, which led to your hosting. Mm-hmm. Basically, has taken you to uh, a few places. <laughs> to, to say oh that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Well, actually, it all started, um, I was a DJ for MTV in Puerto Rico, and uh, as a DJ for MTV, I, I worked with them for two and a half years, and I got to travel to tons of different places, and I got to work with MTV New York, MTV U, which is their university channel, their, like, college uh-huh. year channel, and um, MTV Two. So I got to go to New York, and um, Texas, and Florida, and then I'm... You know, I'm also a spokesperson for a beer in Honduras, so I get to go to Central America a lot and work for eLatino there. Right. And um, I did soap operas, so I got to go to Chile to promote one of the soap operas. So I've been around. I love traveling. It's definitely a part of who I am and one of my big biggest passions. So when I get a chance to actually combine work with travel, it's just perfect for me. Yeah, well, you, you just kill two birds with one stone, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, your hosting has brought you, as I said, you know, as I said, brought you all over the place, and your your time at uh, your MTV, and uh, basically, you've come across a lot of big names in your career so far. I've been very fortunate, I must say. You know, I've gotten a chance to interview the biggest names in... Definitely in the Latin world, like from Ricky Martin to Shakira, uh, also in the in in the Anglo world. You know, I've gotten a chance to interview Gwen Stefani <clears throat> and big movie artists like Sandra Bullock and Denzel Washington, Will Smith, Charlize Theron. Um, I just interviewed Russell Brand last weekend. Uh, so hosting has has just opened up this whole new world for me. And what I love about hosting is the fact that I get to be myself in front of the camera all the time. And, you know, I like, you know me, you've met me. I'm, I feel very comfortable in my own skin. I love life. I love meeting people. I have all this energy to give. And that's what I do when I'm hosting. So I love it just because of that. And I also like acting, but it's just, it's very different for me. You know, because when you're acting, you're actually portraying and becoming someone else. Uh-huh. Versus when I'm hosting, well, like I said, it's, it's me. Yeah. You get Peely, 100%. Yeah, you get you get Peely on on, uh, on a platter, and that's it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and you get to be... Exactly. Yeah, you get to be... That's a good thing. Uh, and you get to be yourself, and, you know, you said with the acting and the hosting, but you also like to dance. I do. Actually, I'm going tango dancing tonight. 
Oh that's, my I'm, God. I'm taking on tango dancing. That's like my new thing. You know, like I said, I was born in Puerto Rico, so mm. I just have that rhythm in me. And I love salsa and merengue, mm. and now I'm starting to do a little bit of bachata. Uh oh. And, you know, I dance. I did ballet for a long time when I was growing up in Puerto Rico, and then mm. um, in college when I was dancing too. Uh-huh. But then after I graduated, I stopped dancing, and you know I don't do it professionally, definitely not. But I just enjoy like dancing in front of the mirror by myself, or going out clubbing, or going out for salsa lessons or tango lessons. Now, I just think it's such a fun thing to do. It's a great exercise. Plus, it's fun, and you get to meet a lot of people. And it's just like once I hear music, I look like I, I can't. I just can't stop moving my feet. It just happens automatically. Oh, that's, 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 <laughs> so when you go in a club, that's it, it's on. <laughs> oh, it's on. I am, oh yeah. But that's, you know, I like to sweat. I, I, that's how much I like dancing, like, up to the point where I'm sweating and I don't care if my makeup's running or not. I'm like having a good time, connecting with the crowd, with the DJ, and just dancing. I love it. Well, it's about living life and that's what you're doing and you're, you're doing what you mm-hmm. love to do and and if you do what you love to do, is less work and more of what is just, you know, just living. And right, I, I and think, more, you know, less work and more play. Yeah, and I think that's fantastic. You know, you coming, you know, you were, were born and raised in Puerto Rico, um, and you venturing into the acting world, but you, you know, you, you do stuff, just so our listeners know, you do do stuff on, uh, I guess, Univision and stuff like that, right? The uh, soap operas? Right. Okay, but also yeah. you kind of cross over into the mainstream, and I did. I mean, yeah. yeah, because well, I finished shooting a movie two weeks ago. The movie's called Unknown, mm-hmm. and it'll be coming out in October. It's a horror flick. A lot of it'll be coming out for Halloween. <laughs> Perfect timing for that. <laughs> um, and you know, I've learned throughout my my career and the time that I've spent in the entertainment world that you have to you have to do a little bit of everything uh-huh. and that's why I've done a radio you know I had a radio show in Puerto Rico for three years right um, I've done hosting I've done acting I've done you know soap operas webisodes uh, movies um, now I'm writing a column for Mexican newspaper it's actually the biggest growing newspaper in the world Okay. And I have a weekly column. It comes out every Friday. It's called Pili Desde Hollywood, which means Pili from Hollywood. And it's just my story. You know, it's what happens to me in Hollywood, like living the life in Hollywood, the good, the bad, and the ugly, <laughs> um, the ups and downs of, of being in the industry. You know, my encounters with different artists uh-huh. um, and my interviews with them. So, you know, it, it's taking me everywhere. My career has taken me everywhere, not only, you know, by traveling, but like you said, also just like mainstream and, and the Latino world, Hispanic mm-hmm. world, bilingual world. I mean, you're, you're crossing over without a doubt, and you, you know, you're going not only uh, in, in one, uh, one realm, you're kind of branching out, which is fantastic, and I think now, you know, the, it's interesting how you had, and I'm just going to touch on the, the land. Latino culture or the Latino view in Hollywood, you know, mm-hmm. uh, some time ago, uh, like if you look at Godfather Part Three, you know, uh, they had Andy Garcia. He was playing, you know, one of the uh, he was playing the nephew of uh, Bal Pacino in in the movie. So he was playing someone that was Italian, but he wasn't, you know. And then he got the, he was in that movie and he was portrayed as such. You know, he it's he hasn't done. A, a lot of um, a lot of uh, roles. He hasn't taken on a lot of roles that allowed him to e- exploit his Latino culture. But now right. it's more acceptable, I guess, now than it was back then. Actually, I got a chance to interview Andy, um, and that was for the movie uh, Something Island, City Island, mm-hmm. City Island. It was a movie that came out last year, which he produced and acted in it, and, you know, it's a, it's actually a really funny movie. It didn't do well, uh-huh. um, and the tickets, it, but, you know, it didn't sell that well, but uh-huh. it's actually a really good movie. 
And, you know, we're going to chance to talk about that. And I think the vision of Latinos has changed so much just because we're now out there and we're everywhere. Uh-huh. And we're, you know, we are, we're just a mix of so many different races and cultures. Uh-huh. I mean, for example, you see me yeah. and I'm blonde, very, very fair skin, freckles, uh-huh. blue eyes. And I'm Puerto Rican, but I'm a mix. I have Irish, Spanish, and Puerto Rican. And I think the notion of Latinos looking just like J-Lo or looking just like Luis Guzman uh-huh. or John Leguizamo is changing. Sure. Because that's not all we are. Uh-huh. That's part of who we look like and who we are, but that's not all we are. And that vision is changing, and that is great, because then we can expand and do Italian roles or American roles, Latino roles, mm-hmm. a little bit of everything, just like other races do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that I mean, you see it more like on TV now. Look at George Lopez, how he broke down barriers, okay, with mm-hmm. his show. Uh, then you look at, was it the Modern Family? Uh, so what was it, Sophia Vergara? You know, yeah, she, you know, she's in there, you know, and she she's playing a role. I mean, she's definitely, you know, smoking hot and whatnot. But you know, she does a comedic role on there, and people accepted it. You know, but she right. she's not shy about who she is. She goes up there and says, "Yeah, this is who I am, and uh, check me out." <laughs> you know, right? And, and this is my accent. This is how I talk. This is how I move. Uh-huh. These are my curves. <laughs> I yeah. accept them, you know, and yeah. people have. Yeah, and. Do, George Lopez, like you said, he's a perfect example of that too. He's, you know, I've, I've also gotten a chance to interview him several times. He's an amazing, amazing man. Um, very proud to be Latino and showing it. And you know, he's actually cast in on it, which I think is great. Yeah, and then he's doing some amazing things. You know, and and, and I had to kind of like touch on that topic only because I have you on the show, and just uh, kind of ex- just to just to get your input on it. You know, uh, but we want to know more about you now. Um, <laughs> you know, because you, 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 what you've done and we, where you come from, no one handed you and said to you, hey, you know what, Peely, here you go, you're going to be a star. All right, just uh, come over here and you're going to be a star. You know, you, no, you have to fight yeah, for this. You have to fight for this. Yep. Yeah. And I, you know what? I'm still fighting. Oh. You know, it's a never-ending battle. And, but it's a, it's, it's a good one. You know, if you're passionate and you love what you do, then it's okay to be out there in the field every day battling. Right. <laughs> and, um, trying to conquer your dreams and achieve your dreams and what you've always wanted. Uh-huh. But you're right. You know, I, I grew up, um, I'm the only one in my family that's actually in the entertainment world. Uh-huh. I'm the black sheep of the, of, <laughs> of the house. But, you know, they've always supported me. But like you said, it didn't come easy. It hasn't mm-hmm. come easy at all. Um, tons of tears and, uh, you know, a lot of heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Um, just because that's the nature of the career and, 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 and the industry. It's, it's cutthroat. Mm-hmm. It's so competitive. And I must say, too, you know, the fact that, like I said before, the fact that, well, I might not look the stereotypical Latina, but I move like a Latina. My body has curves like a Latina. I talk like a Latina with my accent and everything. Um, you know, it's, it's, especially here in Hollywood, it's, you know, it's changing, but it's, it's been an uphill battle at, at some point. Um, uh, but I think fighting for it is actually great. And it's part of, the journey, and it's what's made me stronger, and it's what's made me survive. Uh-huh. If not, I would have given up a long, long time ago. If I, like, if I knew that it was this hard and that my heart wasn't in it, I would have given up a long, long time ago. But looking back and looking at all the trials and tribulations and everything I've had to do to be where I am right now, uh-huh. you know, it's like, it just makes me proud of myself, and it's not about bragging, it's just like, you know, it's I'm proud. I'm proud of what I've achieved, and I'm proud of what I've gone through to achieve what I've achieved. Well, I mean, you so, should you should be proud, and it's not it's not uh, you patting yourself on the back. Okay, it's a reality, you know. And if you're not proud of what you do, then how you know how are you going to expand from there? And the way I look at it, see that what you've done should inspire 
you know, other Latinas that are looking mm -hmm. to get involved in entertainment, whether it be music or whatever the case may be, because you're not, you know, you weren't, you know, like you weren't born and raised in New York and or, or, or California, that type of thing. You came from a culture that's much different than, you know, even the Latinas here in the United States. Because you come to New York, you look like a, a, a J-Lo, a Jennifer Lopez type of thing. Right. Different culture, right. different. Definitely, definitely. Plus, you know, I'm alone. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in Los Angeles, which is extremely far away from Puerto Rico. It's an eight-hour train um, ride. And, and, you know, I don't have any family here. You know, I have friends and, and, and you know, people that I've actually met during the three years that I've been here. But you're right. You know, like, I came here by myself. and But it's it's a drive that I have, really. And I'm glad that you mentioned other Latinas and other other girls that might look up to me because through Facebook and through Twitter, I get messages every day, and that's my inspiration. It's messages from all these fans that really appreci appreciate my job, that have been seeing me grow, seen my career grow, have followed my career, um, and and just tell me, you know what? How have you done it? I want to, you know, I want to follow your footsteps. So I want to do this, and I want to be as determined as you are. How have you done it? And that's really where my energy and my enthusiasm comes from. To like, mm -hmm. they're the ones that are feeding me all this energy for me and fuel for me to keep going. Well, that, that's because that, I think it's that's just great. inspiring. Well, I think that's fantastic because look, you know, if when when you come from nothing, and there are a lot of people in Hollywood that that have come from nothing that people you know you have fans that aren't even aware of it you know you mm -hmm. look at, at a Demi Moore she came from nothing mm -hmm. from the trailer park and she built up you know but right. the, the, the point is is that if you want something that badly you're going to make it happen and you're not going to give up on it you're going to make it happen yeah and you know it's not it's not like every day you wake up and you're like, ooh, I believe in myself 100%. You know, you do have your ups and downs and you do have your doubts. And, you know, when you go to an audition and you don't get it, you know, it it, it affects your ego a bit. But the more you do it, you know, and the more you're out there, the stronger you get. Uh -huh. And the more you do it, the you know, the more passionate you are about it. And it does come to a point where you're like, Okay, well, maybe I didn't book this, but I don't care. You know, I know that I can do this. Uh -huh. I'm my number one fan, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to make this happen. Uh -huh. And and you just keep at it. No, well, you, look, you've done a lot of things, and you are... And, and what I find interesting is that everything you've done, you're just warming up. Right, right, and I agree, and that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is just the beginning. Yeah, you're just warming up because you're you're just getting you're just stretching out, stretching your legs. You're like, okay, yeah, I like this, and you know what? We're gonna take it to the next level. And and I and I hope that our listeners understand that that you know even though you've achieved a certain amount of fame right now, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. I I completely agree with that. It is, and that's exactly how I feel. And. And yeah, I hope the listeners get that too, you know, and, and actually they don't know my career or follow me right now, then maybe they can start now and, and see me grow and they can grow with me. You know, let's, let's all get together on this. Yeah, well, I, think, I think that people are because they're going to, once people understand and they start to get more familiar with uh, who you are, you know, they're, I, I, I see people coming behind you without a doubt and getting behind you and and supporting you because you have a lot of um, celebrities out there that, well, you know, they they take for granted what they have and they don't do mm -hmm. the right things. A lot of celebrities do. You know, I'm not I'm not mentioning names or anything, but I'm just saying that you know, use you know, like in in, in the comics, use your powers for the <laughs> for the greater good. You know, um, and if you have influence on people, that's a power, and you need right. to be able to put it into to a good format and motivating uh, the, the youth of of the world is definitely something that you're into. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And and I'm glad you mentioned being grateful too. I think it's so important not to take things for granted. Um, 
you know, and be grateful for all the opportunities that you have and be grateful for those people that support you, for that team of people that, you know, some you know, some of them you don't know. Because I consider my fan base my team, too. Right. You know, and a lot of them I don't know. Um, but, you know, I'm grateful for them and, and, and for my team that, you know, works closely with me. Because those are the people that really believe in you and and will support you no matter what. Right. We'll actually just be there for you no matter what. Yeah, and I think that, you know, when you, as long as you, if your fans are loyal and supportive, you know, and they grow in numbers, nothing's going to stop you with that, you know, because what, everything you do, again, is for the greater good. It's not so much to stroke your ego, it's for you to achieve greater success in your career, which trickles down to helping people at the end of the day. Right. You know, and that's what Definitely. it does. You know, but you've, You've been, uh, again, you've been uh, on MTV. You have a lot of uh, different projects going on now. You mentioned the movie um, that you just finished shooting. Uh, do you want to mm-hmm. speak about that, that horror flick for a minute? Sure. It's called Unknown. Um, my my character's name is Stephanie. I'm one of the main characters. Um, it was two weeks of intense night shoots. And when I say intense night shoots, that means that my call time was around 4.30 in the afternoon up until around 5.30 a.m. the next morning. So huh. it was long and cold and, you know, tedious to a point just because it's a horror flick. So, and there's a lot of gore and, and bad things happening. But it was a lot of fun. It was, the crew was amazing. And, um, you know, it's just working. And that's what I love doing. It's just being on the set and working and, and, you know, just keep growing as, as an actor, keep growing as a person and just supporting my craft and, you know, expanding my creativity. Um, the movie should come out in, and like I said, in October around Halloween. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's coming out in the U.S., Mexico and Puerto Rico as well. So I'm excited that people at home will actually get a chance to see me. Um, and, you know, I just got a phone call from the director actually yesterday. They were very happy with, with, with my work. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and I'm excited that people are going to see me in another realm, you know, Uh um, because I've never done a horror flick before. So even though, you know, I always, in the the soap operas, for those of you that know me, you know, the soap operas, I always play the, what should, how can I say the, I don't know if I can say that word in, in, in the radio, well, but <laughs> the not so nice character in the soap operas. You know, I'm always a stuck up girl in the soap operas, and my character in this movie has has a bit of that too, uh-huh. which is a lot of fun to play. It's always fun to play the bad girl, the one that nobody likes, right. the one that's always playing tricks and being bad to others. Right. It's fun because I don't get to do that in real life, so. Well, it's the complete opposite of you, so you. It's <laughs> the actually, complete opposite. Yeah. So I get to channel that through my characters. Like I get to live this way just now. This, which is good. Right, right. <laughs> it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Well, I, that that that's, that sounds that sounds like a lot of fun to to be yeah, something that you're not. But then again, that's that's the world of acting. Um, right. And you, you, so you've done that now. You know, you you're writing articles. You've done uh, a lot of hosting gigs. You know, I, I watch TV, you know, here and there, and, you know, you kind of keep mm-hmm. up with certain things. And right now in, in Hollywood, and it's interesting, in television and in, in the network world, you have a big uh, a big transition from all, a lot of the the, um, the show, the talk show host, like from Oprah and, 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 and all these, the, these uh, people transitioning and leaving their shows and opening things up. You know, do you, do you see yourself... At some point, and I know you've done it before, but on a bigger mm-hmm. scale, do you see yourself at some point going into um, actually having a, a TV show that you're hosting and you have guests and and that type of thing, like um, I don't know, like a Wendy Williams type of thing? Uh, yes, yeah. definitely. Um, you know, one of my fortes, one of my strong points, is definitely interviewing. I love people, uh-huh. and I love getting to know people, and I'm very inquisitive. Um, and and I think that's what made me stand out as a host, too, is my interviewing skills. And uh, I 
see myself in the very, you know, near future having my own show and just hosting it and having, you know, different type of guests in the show and interviewing them. Uh-huh. And I'm also into music, so, you know, I would definitely like incorporate a lot of music into my show. But that's definitely part of my big plan. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully very, very soon you'll see the Peely show. <laughs> But I think that would be great. And for, look, for mm-hmm. our listeners that aren't familiar with how you actually are, this is what I envision. You sitting there, and you're not just sitting there. I can see you dancing around with the with the audience and everything. I can really see this happening. <laughs> yep, yep, I can see that too, yep. You know, it, you know I, I, I keep saying it, and I'm sorry it might sound redundant, but I love people, and I love living. So, you know, if I can just portray that and... And being in front of the camera and people get it, it's a dream come true. And I, I, I am really fighting hard for that opportunity to happen, for me to have my own show. Um, you know, it could also be bilingual, so we could target so many Latinos, you know, second, third, fourth generation that are in the U.S. Uh-huh. You know, it's, you know, it's, as, as, as we saw the census come out now, it's millions and millions of us. Yeah. And, um, you know, tap into that world too, tap into that market, and just give the whole world a, a bit of who we are. Well, I mean, I think that what you're doing is opening doors for other people, because if you aren't a pioneer, and, and like, uh, just kind of making the path, then you become a follower, but you're definitely not a follower. Mm-mm. No, never. You're, you're, you're a trailblazer. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, you know. I'm not saying that being a follower is a bad thing, but, yeah, I would, I, I would never describe myself as a follower because I'm just, yeah, I'm not. I've, you know, like like I said, you know, I grew up in Puerto Rico. It's a, it's a small island. Um, nobody in my family is in the, in the entertainment world. Um, so ever since I decided to be an actress and a host and just be part of the entertainment world, it's been a... It's been a uphill battle, and you know I'm doing it on my own, and that's just, that's just how I roll. <laughs> yeah, but I mean you're you're see you're doing everything on your own. You went from Puerto Rico, you went to to, to Boston, you, uh, mm-hmm. you I mean, and you've done. And again, correct me if correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, you know you've been to other other schooling for you to enhance what you're doing. Yes. You know, um, just n- not going to Boston, but you've been to uh, other places and you've taken every opportunity to to hone your skills. It's not, you're not, you weren't just looking to jump into it and say, hey, I have a pretty face and check out my curves and take me in. Right, right. No, I, I believe in education a lot. I actually think that ignorance, in general, you know, ignorance is just what's killing us. And I believe in education. And I said to myself from a very young age, you know, if this is really what I want to do, that I must educate myself in it. So, yeah, I went to school in Boston, and then I, I I was lucky enough to go to London for an internship program at a theater there, the Young Big Theater. So I was in London, and then I went to New York, and then I went to Mexico. So I've, you know, I've traveled and, and lived in different places and educated myself in, in different areas within the entertainment world. So I get a little bit of everything, you know. But it, but it's amazing because you didn't have anything when you came over here. You just said, "All right, well, I'm, I this is what I want to do, and I'm going to go." And and you said you never did a horror movie, but you know that had to be scary doing that. It was especially uh, the last scene in the movie for me for my character. It was it was it was really hard. It was very intense. Oh, but no, but um, Peely, what I was talking about, like, you know, that, oh. you know, what I was saying, we're going to talk, we'll talk about that in a second, but my, my reference was you never did a horror flick, but, you know, your journey hasn't been, you know, it, ha- it had to be scary when you first came here. Well, you know what's funny? I look back at it and I'm like, how was I doing? But at that time, I wasn't scared. I just knew that that's what I had to do. And, you know, there was a bit of a culture shock, uh-huh. obviously. Um, there was a bit of a language barrier. There were other things that I needed to overcome as well. Right. But, it, you know, it wasn't really scary. Like, I, 
it's funny because it, it just kind of like didn't even cross my mind like what are you doing you are here all by yourself all alone what are you doing you're crazy but that wasn't a it hurdle it never crossed my mind I, it, it was just like okay this is what needs to be done like this is your dream and these are the steps that you need to take in order to achieve them so okay what do I need to do okay let's do it it was more about that it was it was more of a situation where you know uh you didn't you you embrace fear you're like okay i'm here bring it on well, let's I, make it happen i embrace challenging myself yeah. you know i i i like that i like challenging myself i like knowing how far i can go mm-hmm. well I, I think that you're going to go far and not not I mean, I'm being unbiased, you know, even though I should be biased, but I am being unbiased. <laughs> you know, but I'm being unbiased because, you know, you're, you're talented. If everyone, if anyone's seen you on, on television or, or seen you, uh, seen any of your interviews, heard them, you know, they see how you interact with people and you, you have a certain flow about you, you know, mm-hmm. um, but you don't, you, you're not, you don't scare easily. Okay. You're not, and you know, some, someone can't shake you up and tell you you can't do something. Because I have a feeling they tell you you can't. You're gonna say, "Aha, watch me." Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, and that's that, so funny you say that because recently I just had one of those episodes. You know, I I auditioned for a big big role and I almost got it, but I didn't. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you know what? Thank you for the opportunity, and it's fine, but. My light is going to keep on shining brighter than, than ever, so look out. Yeah, just a matter of, of the right situation falling in place, and all of a sudden, boom, you're a star. You're a superstar, you know, right. um, and you're you're well on your way there. That much I, I will tell you, because just your mm-hmm. attitude, how you are as an individual, me knowing you personally, you know, the the bottom line is is that you have all the components to to doing great things, and not only, you know, for you on a personal level, but for you to have an impact on on society, okay, and, mm-hmm. and, and invoke, Another, yeah, and, and you're going to invoke change on, on, uh, on the community, on, you're going to, as I said, you're going to inspire, and you will inspire, and you're inspiring people now, but when you really, really are totally mainstream, you're going to inspire these young girls and boys that say, hey, you know what? Um, Latino, I want to do X, Y, Z, you know, and is there a place for me out there? Well, yeah, the answer mm-hmm. is yes, there is a place. Yes, there is, and, and, you know, even if there wasn't, I would create it. <laughs> yeah, but, th- but you are, that's, that's the, that's the amazing thing is that you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're creating that path and you said, you know, we talked about followers and everything, you know, right now, there's no one to follow. Right. So if there's no one to follow, you know, you need, you need trailblazers that are going to make the path for you and open up the door and say, okay, yeah, we can do this. And I, and I know, you know, um, you know, a friend of mine, he, uh, was, uh, he, he's a director, uh, and he did uh, a couple of movies with John Leguizamo and, uh, basically he's trying to do, trying to have an impact on Hollywood as well and bring more attention to the Latino community. You know, because, yeah, I mean, the, the, the concept is, if you see, and, and again, I don't want people to misconstrue this as it's, it's something um, other than what I'm saying it is. It's not nothing, uh, it's nothing racial or anything, but if, uh, if a Tyler Perry, he makes a movie, okay, you, you have all African Americans pretty much in the movie. Now, mm-hmm. when you make, a, you know, a movie, a Latino movie, do you have all Latinos in the movie? No, you don't. You have other people playing Latinos, so they're trying to change that. Right, and 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 that's a great point too, because this is something I've been thinking about too. You know, it's it's great how the African American community really supports Tyler Perry's project. Uh-huh. They're like loyal fans, yeah. and I don't. I'm not sure if us as Latinos are doing that. No, no, that that that's the thing that that kind of drives me crazy. Because look, Tyler Perry, I love the guy to death. Great guy. His story is fantastic. He literally, this is a guy that literally came from nothing. He was almost on an out of yep. the street, and now, I mean, he has a 
billion dollar empire. You know, and and and, and not only that, it's what you've said. You've said too, like yeah. he's inspiring so many others. Yeah. Opening up so many doors. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He he is the door opener, but he wants to do that and not be. Right. And, he, and you you won't see him out there promoting, you know, pro this, pro that. He's he's like, okay, uh, this is what I do, and let me just do it. You know, and that's what he's doing. He's just getting it done. You know, and in the Latino community, you really don't have that. And I know that this this show is is going down a different path, but. You know, since you know, it's just interesting to me how, and we just talked about you being a trailblazer, that it actually kind of, you know, in, in, in Hollywood right now, this is what you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, no, it's it's a very interesting conversation, and I, and I love tapping in on it, um, so I don't mind at all. But, you know, I, I, I do wonder, like, why is it that, Latinos are really not supporting each other in that way. Mm. You know, what's the African American community doing that we as Latinos are not? Following the leader. You know, and, um, you know, and Tyler Perry's not only inspiring his community, but he's inspiring others like us. Mm-hmm. And questioning, well, if that's working, if that's formula that's working, what's happening over here that's not working? Yeah, and that that's the killer because, you know, Tyler Perry, would he have had the opportunity to do everything he did without the likes of Oprah uh, opening up doors? Probably not. So you need probably that, not. yeah, you probably, you need that one person to open the doors, you know, and, okay. and, and the director I was talking about, his name's Frank Reyes, he he's, does great work, he did the ministers with John Leguizamo and, and everything, and even, even him, you know, he wants to invoke change like you want to invoke change now right. how, how do you do that when you don't have that big figure like an Oprah in front of you right you know right to, that that'll open the doors and, and then the ones that are in the position of doing that they're like no 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 and they don't open the doors which which amazes me because you open the doors everybody goes in mm-hmm. and things just get better you know, because yep. you're not going to live forever, so you want to open the doors and leave the legacy. That's just my view. Right. <laughs> that's just my right. view on stuff. You know? and, and, and I agree. And, uh, you know, that's the opening where I can come in hand. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but that that's where you're at right now, and you're doing that. You know, and, you know, look, you're doing movies, you're doing hosting, you have a, you have a great article. What what's, uh, what what's the title of your article, and what paper is that in again? It's called, the newspaper is called Publimetro, mm-hmm. and the column's called Pili, this is my name, honestly, Desde Hollywood. Okay. Pili from Hollywood. And you talk so about... So, you know, if anybody wants to check it out, they can just look me up on Facebook, Pili Montilla, P-I-L-I-M-O-N-T-I-L-L-A, mm-hmm. or on Twitter, which is at Pili Montilla, and I'm always, every week, I'm posting my columns there, and as you know, you know, I post pictures up, and you know, comment on what I'm doing, ask my fans what they're up to. Mm-hmm. So I'm very active in my social networking. Yeah, well, you're, you're out there and you're doing your stuff. And, and I, you know, I need to ask you a question. And then I think it's important, you know, because we, we kind of covered, you know, you know, some of your history. And, you know, obviously we were talking about the culture in Hollywood. And I, and I think it was an important topic for us to touch on, uh, only because I have you on the on the uh, the show. But where where do you see yourself, or where would you like to see yourself in, in the next five years? Well, like I said, I definitely want to have my own show, and you know, I want to be that Oprah, but for the bicultural, bilingual world, and I want to be inspiring for, to others, and I want to make. A difference in other people's lives, uh-huh. and you know, I just want to keep entertaining. Uh-huh. I want to keep making a living by doing what I love, okay. what I feel passionate about. But, but and but most important, importantly, it's yeah. just inspiring others. Well, l- let me ask you a question. With you know, with you being a, like an Oprah type of figure, you know, and, and again, people will say, well, you know, Oprah, she's a mammoth, everything else, yeah, she, but she also came from nothing, and she fought for everything she got, you know, and, I, and people can criticize her till they're blue in the face, but you know something, I, I love the lady, she inspired millions and continues to do it, 
you know. Yes, I mean you have to give her credit. Whether oh. like you said, whether you like her or not, she deserves a lot of credit. I mean, she's yeah. a pioneer. Yeah, but you know what happens when you know when you become successful, people root for you to fail. And oh like, yeah, hey, you know how that yeah. works. I know that. <laughs> Trust me, I know that. You know, not everybody's part of your cheer leading team. <laughs> oh, they're sitting there saying, "Oh, you can't do that. It's too hard. You can't do it." Then when you do it, ah, oh, you're gonna fail. You're gonna fail. Right. And then when you right. don't fail, oh, but you'll still fail. Don't worry about it. Right. And, and oh yeah, you yeah. get that all the time. But and, you know, and, and, you know, they're on the sideline. Hey, Peely, you're gonna fall down. Hey, Peely, they're doing the whole cheer for you. But you know something, <laughs> you know. But that's okay because that actually adds fuel to the fire. Oh yes, and it just makes you stronger. Sure. sure. Makes you keep going. Yeah, and without a doubt, I think that again. Oh, well, this is what I was going to ask you. Now, with uh, with the show, okay? Do you see yourself, you know, being on uh, hosting a uh, like we'll call it Peely, like you have Oprah, we'll call it Peely, Peely, right? Okay. Do, you, do you see yourself doing that, you know, just in uh, on uh, like uh, the uh, like Univision or something like that, or do you see yourself doing that mainstream, or or, or more more importantly, which one would you prefer? You know, it's, I see myself doing it mainstream. Um, which one I prefer, <clears throat> to tell you the truth, it's, you know, they're both really important markets. Mm -hmm. But I think mainstream would have a, it'll, it, it'll have more impact, I think. Um, because we don't have that right now. In the, in the, in the, the Latin world, we have Christina. Mm -hmm. She's our Oprah. Right. Um, and we have others too, but in mainstream we don't, and that's where I see myself, and that's the space and the opening where I see that I could fill up. Uh -huh. um, plus, things are changing so much in our society right now that, like we've said during this entire interview, like I think people need it and want it. Uh -huh. You know, they want bicultural, bilingual you know, um, energy, uh, they, they want that and, and they need it. And there isn't anything out there like that. No. In the mainstream. So, you know, obviously a show at Univision or Telemundo would be great too. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be great. But I see myself mainstream and I know I can do it. So that's really where my goal is at. Yeah, and, and I think that you're going to make it. You know, a lot of people have come to the forefront, but they weren't pioneers. Whether you look at a Geraldo or Sally Jesse Raphael, you know, they didn't go and start breaking down barriers for everyone else. They were just there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And, and you're going to break down barriers. Even, and you don't have to say it, but I'll say it. You know, even uh, the uh, Christina that you told me that uh, is the, uh, that you mentioned, that is like the Oprah of the, uh, the Latino world, mm -hmm. you know, you know, she... I don't see her opening up doors, you know, bringing, you know, le letting people in to actually go and and uh, and fulfill their destinies, their goals, you know, because if that was the case, then we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Right. You right. know, and you would see you would see a lot more Latino shows on TV on on mainstream. You know, you have like channel, mm -hmm. like in, look in New York, you have Channel Nine, Channel Eleven is like Tyler is Tyler Perry out parried out, you know all his shows and this and that and all this stuff and it's great because that's the outlet you know but with all with cable the way it is everything else you, there's so many things that can get done and I think that if given the opportunity that you could be the one which would be very interesting yeah yeah you know and mm -hmm. yeah, so. and I'm excited you know I'm excited and, and I'm working really hard for that to come true in the near future yeah, well, I think it's going to happen for you, Peely. And, you know, and it's been great having you on the show. You know, you're extremely interesting. And, uh, you know, we're going to have you on again and again and again, only because, you know. <laughs> I love that, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course. Well, because your future is just getting brighter and brighter. And, you know, just for our listeners, uh, if they think that you're all about, you know, just entertainment and Hollywood and inspiring people through that, you know, that's not the case. You're also involved in a nonprofit. I've, I'm involved in a couple of nonprofits, actually. Um, I was part of a campaign called Si Bebes No Guies, which means like, no drinking and driving. Uh -huh. um, right here in, in L.A., I'm actually involved with Lockwood, which is a school um, uh, 
for, you know, kids that are underprivileged, and I go and volunteer there. And there's actually a theater close by to Santa Monica, which is where I live here in, in, in Los Angeles. And they have a kids program, and I'm volunteering for that as well. So I love to give some of my time in volunteering and making a, a difference in people's lives and children. And, you know, every, like I said, I go to Honduras a lot because I'm a spokesperson for a local beer there. And every time I go, I always do a little bit of social work and, and charity too because, you know, Honduras especially is a third world country. It's extremely poor. And just seeing those kids smile just, you know, makes it so worthwhile. Yeah, of course. You get that, that's your, that's your payoff. You know, uh, you see mm-hmm. a kid smile, you know you made a difference in their lives, you know. And, and I want to touch on you doing the nonprofit stuff because, uh, you know, you're, that, that's you giving back. And not because you have to, but because you feel that's the way it should be. And that's the way it should be. And, and, you know, and, and the, the bigger that my career gets and the bigger that my name gets, you know, the more I want to do, the, wanna, the more I want to be able to do. Mm-hmm. Because I do think it's part, or it's part of, I don't want to say job, but it's part of your responsibility as a public figure. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 have you know, to. and it's not a burden at all. It's com- the complete opposite. For me, it's just a blessing mm-hmm. to be able to make a difference in these children's lives. And I think that you are, and I think what you're doing is noble, and I think your career, again, you know, your your light is just turning on, you know, and you've accomplished so much, and I, I, I want to I wanna bear witness to your, <laughs> I want to bear witness to your light illuminating so much that it brightens the world just that much more, and I think that you're going to wind up doing that, Now I think I, I know. You're going to wind up doing it. And I can say, yeah, I know Peely. Check her out. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, and like, I want to thank you for this opportunity and for letting people, you know, for letting me tell my story and for people to actually, you know, hear it. And um, and just for, you know, being there for me and supporting my career and, and, and my talent. And it means the world to me, so I really, really thank you for this great opportunity. Uh, and it was fun. Yeah, no, we, we, I, you know, we had we had fun, and you know what? The next time you come on, we're gonna have a lot more fun. And since we, you know, we covered your background, uh, yeah, it's gonna be very interesting the, the the next time you come on the show because then we're gonna talk about just things other than this, and it's gonna be. It's going to be, we'll have a ball with it, you know. Uh, well, what I want, if you can do this for me, Peely, I would really appreciate it. If you can just let our listeners know how they can follow your career and how they can get the updates and find out what's going on with you because for any, anyone that's listening, you know, you, as I said before, I'm, I'm going to sound redundant, your career is, your, your light is just starting to illuminate and it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn bright. So this, oh, is, this yeah, well, this is the time for them to go and and get on board the, the Peely train. So uh, you know, let them know sure. how they can do it. Okay, well, it's actually very very easy. You can all reach me through Facebook. Um, my name is Peely Montilla, M O N T I L L A. Um, I'm very very active on Facebook, so you'll get a chance to see my my work there, see pictures of me, and and pictures of me with different artists. Um, and just updates as to what I'm up to. And you can also follow me on Twitter. It's at Pili Montilla, P-I-L-I-M-O-N-T-I-L-L-A. And that's, you know, that's basically the best way to reach me and get a hold of, of, of me and, and be up to date as to what I'm doing and what I'm up to. And I would love to have you all on my Facebook and Twitter and just have all these new friends and all this new awesome energy vibing towards me so oh. thank you well it's, it's good stuff and i and i do urge our listeners to definitely uh you know follow peely Montilla as she progresses to the next level you know she's done a lot mtv movies you know she, articles i mean you're you're a columnist now you, you write a yep. column so which is which is pretty cool it's like reality on paper 
<laughs> reality show yep, on paper. Yep, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's exactly how it is. So that's pretty cool. But uh, you know, and I, and I do urge everyone to, to, to follow you and uh, see where you end up. And we're gonna have you back on the show uh, at some point uh, down the down the line because I know that you're gonna have different projects coming up. You're gonna have so many different things happening. And yep. we just we want to be there to tell that story. So uh, I'm in. <laughs> okay, sounds good. And for those of you that want to watch me, you know, with my interviews and everything, my show it goes on every Wednesday. Depends on the like where you are, what time. But it's on VME TV, which is a V M E TV. You can Google that, and and then they'll give you like depending on where you are, the channel and the time. The show's in pantalla, and then you can see me do all these really cool interviews with different artists so you get a taste of my work or you can just YouTube my name and then you'll see a bunch of different examples of my of my work alright Peely I think that's awesome and uh, again we were with Peely Montilla she is a cross cultural princess no doubt about it <laughs> uh, you like that awesome. huh yeah, we're gonna have to tell I like you. that a lot. Yeah, but Billy, th- thank you so much for coming on the show, and we look forward to having you on again. I wish you the best of luck with your career and everything else, even though yeah, you and I will be, be talking, but uh, I do wish you all the luck in the world, and again, we're, we're right there supporting you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been a pleasure, and I want to send a big, big beso grande to everybody that's listening, and and thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, see, that's the way to close it out. <laughs> thank you, Billy. <laughs> All right, take care. What is your major malfunction? So let it be written. So let it be done. Ladies and gentlemen, my mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you.